Hey guys, everyone knows about Telegram bots, so let's see something. As you can see here, I built a Gemini AI Telegram bot that can give output based on text prompt and also can read images and send output. So today I am going to show you how to build a Gemini AI Telegram bot. So let's get started. First, open my GitHub repository, which I have linked in this video description. I have provided all of the instructions in this GitHub repository. This bot will have the following features. Asynchronous communication, error handling, text-based prompt response, and image recognition that can read. So let's go to the starting part. Listen, to build this Telegram bot, the following are required. Python 3.9 version or higher AOGram, PIL, and Google Generative A and environment variables, Google App A Key and Google Application Credential. So first, we need Google Application Credential and a Google API Key. I previously made a tutorial on how to get Google Application Credential. Simply follow this video, which I have linked in this video description. After following all of this, you will get a service account file in JSON format. As you can see here, I have downloaded the service account JSON file. Now we need a Python script. You will find it in my repository. So just open it and copy. After copying, open a code editor. I basically use Notepad++. Save this script with a .py extension. It is better to save in the same directory where your service account .json file is located. Now, we need a bot token. Simply open Telegram and search for Botfather and create a bot. Now I receive a bot token. Simply copy it and then change the token with your main bot token and save it. As you can see here in the command handler, I have set the Jemmy command for text prompt based output. And image A for image reading. Now open your terminal. I am back again to this GitHub repository. Now we need to install the required Python libraries. Just copy it and paste it in the terminal and hit enter. As you can see here, all required libraries are installing. After installation is done, we need to set up environment variables. To set environment variables, open my repository again and copy the variables of Google API key. After that, open the link that I have mentioned for Google API key. I have already shown how to get Google API key in my previous video. Just copy the API key and paste it here and hit enter. Oops, sorry. This is for VPS. For Windows type, just replace export to set. Now save done. Now we need to set Google application credential. Just type set Google application credential with the path to your service account JSON file. To get path URL, just open your service account JSON file and copy full file path. Now paste it and hit enter. Environment variable set done. Now need to run the script. Just type Python with your actual file name and hit enter. Let's see bot working or not. As you can see here, working pretty good. Let's build the bot on VPS. I actually use Termius to manage VPS. If you have a VPS, add it here and open terminal. Now we need to clone the Gemini GitHub repository. So I am back again to my GitHub repository. Now just copy it and paste it here and hit enter. Now, type CD with the folder name. Now, use ls to locate the gemini.py file. Got it. 
Now we need to edit this file, so type nano with the gemini.py. This is our script. Now, we need to replace the bot token. Now copy your bot token and paste it here. To save it, press Prel plus O, then enter, and then press Prel plus X to exit. Listen carefully, we need to install all of the required Python libraries before running the bot in VBIS. Now we need to set environment variables. So go back to my GitHub repository. Now copy this bash and pasted it in terminal. Now we need to set environment variable. Just copy the variables from my GitHub repository and paste it here. And save with the actual Google API key and Google application credential. To save it, press Prel plus O, then enter, and then press Prel plus X to exit. As you can see here, I have already added how to get the service account just on file path Earl. Just follow me. Now run the script with python3 gemini.py. Let's check it's working or not. Yes, it's working. So guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon and share with your friends and family.